Today we're in Mapleton, Georgia. It's just outside of Atlanta. We're here at uh, Packer Industries and Patterson Services. Ken Patterson, thanks a lot for talking with us today. Yeah, thank you, Peter. What we do is manage construction waste for the local building contractors. We decided to build a small machine that was compact, easily transportable, that would do a variety of materials, and it would also get the metal out when it processed the material. So we got things like wood fiber, that takes a certain type of machine, then we got things like bricks. And it's not easy to design a machine that, that can process anything from cardboard up to concrete blocks. Absolutely, it's not easy at all. You need, you need something with really high torque. So we're at the job site, we've ground all the stuff up, including uh, wood waste, engineered wood, as well as solids on, and we got gypsum board. So what do we do with those materials? When you land the plan, the, the wood waste, first of all, should be used as erosion control and also for your gravel construction entrance as a construction delivery pad and not a construction entrance. Ah, okay. That's a big savings for the builder. Drywall is just about 93% calcium sulfate or gypsum and 7% paper, so it's a pretty good material to use as a soil amount. Oh, absolutely. It's very good material. And then when you finish with the wood chips and everywhere else, you incorporate all that back into the line and you have all the other cellulose that goes into it. About how much of the waste stream by percent can we handle with on-site grinding? You can actually recycle about 98% by volume. That's excellent. Taking materials that some people think are garbage and using them as a beneficial use on the site, is that an easy thing to do in every that state? Is, that is not an easy thing to do at all, Peter. That, that has been a large hurdle. What we've had to do in this state is do a lot of studies with the university and a few other people, US EPA, to show that you can use that material. We've also done studies with the state of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and, and even in other countries. A few of the states, like North Carolina, that has uh, rules about waste. If you cut a piece of tube before off, that's considered MSW and has to go to a landfill by law. So when you say MSW, you mean municipal solid waste, that's which is correct. a whole different animal than construction waste. That's absolutely correct. Well, it's just one more example of where green building may involve some some rule changes, some code changes, so we can actually do what ends up right, be the right that's thing. That's absolutely correct. We just spent some time over at your operations about 10 minutes from here, so uh, I want you to tell me a little bit about how you practice what you preach. These granite blocks came from no railroad. About now I see some parallel beams here. You can't tell me those are salvaged. Yes, those came out of one of our projects, uh, local, local apartment complex. Lining the side of your driveway, more granite blocks. All the granite blocks are salvaged. One of the keys to your business is that when people come to you looking for information, you provide it pretty readily because they turn into a customer if you do. That's absolutely correct. That, that is our business model. We're, we're totally open. We provide anybody with any, any information that they want about what we do. It always turns into more business for you if you're always open with the information. Well, Ken, I can't thank you enough for showing us your operations and even your own house. Thank Take you. Take care.